Hey, it's LaDonna. Welcome back to Double L Cattle Farming and Hatchery. Today, we're just going to give you an update of where everybody's at and kind of what we're doing at the farm. Y'all stick around. These are my weaned babies. And yearling heifers are they? I guess they are almost almost yearling heifers. And they're ready to eat. Are y'all ready to eat? Huh? Hello button. Hello. No, Lucy. Can you get out? Did you ask them if they're ready to eat? Are you guys ready to eat? Two oh one. Two one oh. Right there. What? Oh, I see her. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> they know. <laughs> All right, you ready to let them in? I think so. I think so. Let's see if, let's see if I can pet them. Well, you got to let them in first. Wait till they get in. Okay. Some of them, watch out. Let's get you over here, by me. Yeah. All right, now let's walk this way. That's Hope. She might let you pet her. Hey, Hope. Yeah, this, there she is. Buttons. Pretty scared. Is that buttons? Mm hmm. No, she went all the way down yonder. <laughs> what kind of cows are these? Heifers. Exactly. Good job. What kind of cows are these, Locke? M. Huffers. Good job. <laughs> no. Because they have different feed they got to eat. Those are going to be our steaks and hamburger meat. Oh my goodness. Come back here. Oh. Tell Lucy, say no, no, no. No, no. 
Can't play my rocks. Say no, no, my rocks. No. My rocks. Say no, what's rocks? Right. Yeah. What do you got? Rock. Can you show them to me? Show me your rocks. Right. Whoa, look at all those rocks. Got a bucket full of rocks. Wow. That's a big one. Wow. We were very nervous after the drought that we were gonna run out of grass, but luckily we got enough rain just to kind of keep our grass growing and it's doing pretty good. <coughs> This side we've just kind of kept some random heifers and wing babies and beef cattle on so they've kind of eaten it down a little bit but i believe we're gonna make it this is on knox our herd bull he's a sweet baby is that good stuff loves to be scratched Boy. What's the matter? What's wrong? You think you don't have any grass? Huh? Are y'all spoiled? You want to be moved every day? Yeah, they're so deprived. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, but my husband just said if Elvira is not carrying twins, he's Elvis Presley. See her sideburns? Elvira, you better not be having no twins. Although your mom was good at it. What, what do y'all want? Huh? Any of y'all getting a bag yet? Are we bagging up yet? Maddie's gonna let y'all have some fresh grass. Come on! Yeah, I walked over in this yesterday and it's like over knee deep. Come on! <laughs> Fatties! Fatties! Chris and take Betty, a couple other of these cows to the other farm. And this is gonna be my herd plus my eight heifers up there. Hey, Betsy. Hello, Betsy. I ain't got time for you. I ain't got time for you. Pretty girl. There's Mama Hall's. Her bags went back down. We're still waiting to see if she slipped a calf or not. Little sugar. And the last one in, huh? I think they'll be good for a few days. This group we've got up in a small area. They're going to be our next beef. Our next uh, feeding out for beef. We've got one nice steer here and three of our heifers that did not perform well didn't do well so they've got about 90 to 120 days before their appointment so we're going to start feeding them out we're actually fixing to get some feed 
deliver we're going to try it in a crepe feeder instead of hand feeding them bucket feeding them every single day so we'll see how that goes good babies and everybody always asks me how can you do that because you don't feel bad but we spoil our cows and animals rotten <laughs> while we have them so we just look at it like you know they have one bad day thanks for watching today y'all please like share and subscribe see y'all next time how fresh is this thing could be any fresher or we still be grazing